Hi everyone, welcome to this week on the Tarolaran. I'm Julie and Emmanuel and I are down here under our porch and this is kind of uh, next to our basement and on the front side of the house under the wraparound porch. We're digging out under here. Uh, we're trying to dig out all this dirt because there's a foundation problem where the water is coming in and it's running down here into the basement. So we're trying to get that corrected. So Emmanuel and I were talking about uh, how this issue happened and probably what happened was that the house originally here was built, um, the basement was built here. It probably wasn't a full uh, walking basement on this side. And so at some point they dug it down and made it a full basement, but they didn't make a, a good place for the water to drain over here. So the water's been coming down and into our basement. So we're trying to get this corrected so we can get the sump pump out. And in order to do that, we have to dig out all the dirt that's behind me and we're going to put in a French drain um, so that the water can come down and around the hill and around the house. All right, enjoy.
I don't know if you guys can tell, but we have a lot of small little holes that go straight into from here, from the wall, into it, into the dirt here. And basically what they are is cicada holes. They basically dig in the dirt for years and then um, after a few years, in usually five to ten years, depends on what type of cicada it is, they all come out at once. There's always big swarms uh, in the United States here. And this is, I guess, um, a nice spot for them because they all have to do is just have a protected area that is all dirt and they can just dig straight into the dirt without ever getting disturbed. So I find a lot of them here. Some of them are still moving, so they are clearly not hatched, but some of the holes are really just empty from previous years probably. I kind of feel like Colin first who's dig I don't know if you guys are following Colin, but he's digging a, a tunnel underneath his house to a bunker that he built years ago. And I kind of feel like that very enclosed space, just digging straight over to a wall. So kind of feels exactly like that. And kind of probably looks like that on the video too. So for Saturday, the few hours that we have been here, we made pretty good progress. We started all the way at the end of the wall, up until here, it was just about three foot deep that we dug. And the rest, you can tell, it's five feet that we dug already. And we have about another four feet to dig. So maybe we'll get that done tomorrow. So we are about two and a th uh, two thirds of the way um, to the back. So maybe we can finish this this week. But unfortunately the project itself won't be done. We still have to dig another two feet um, further down. 
when I measured inside, I basically had on the areas where the water is penetrating, I had five and a, uh, five and a quarter block of depth. And right now here I have one, two, three, four, and the other, the next block is just sticking out. So I have to go at least a whole block and a quarter down to make sure that we are at the level where the water is penetrating, uh, or at least the, the bottom of that level. And then from there, we have to go at least a foot, probably even two feet down, because um, we obviously have to lay the pipe in. I don't want to just lay it at the height where the water is penetrating. I want to lay it lower and then we have to slope it all the way around the house. Um, we want to do that because uh, in the future maybe we will potentially want to use this entire space as like a garden shed where we can store our tools, maybe a lawnmower and stuff underneath here, the porch area. So eventually we'll dig out this entire area. Obviously that's not for today, but if we do that, we obviously will want to pour a concrete pad uh, over the French drain area. So therefore we want to be low enough so that we can do that. And therefore we have to dig from the area where the water is penetrating another foot or so down so that we are at the same level as the door when the floor is put on top.
So my friend Camiona and I, we made some pretty good progress here on Sunday. We were able to go all the way here, back to the brick wall where the house turns. The only thing that we didn't get done is we went, didn't go all the way down to the right depth that we need to be. We still have to probably go about three feet down. Um, right there where the water is penetrating, we are at that level, but um, the block that, um, or the inside, there's six blocks high and we are at uh, three and a half. So we need to go three and uh, uh, three more blocks down, which is somewhere around three feet. So we have to take that out. And then when we're down at, at the right level in the back here, we have to slope this entire area. Because obviously the water will have to run um, downhill. So we have to dig all of this channel out further. What I want to do is I want to um, take this chance also, uh, maybe have some help come in to take the rest of this um, pile out too. So probably in the next few weeks, I'm not sure yet, maybe next week I'll have uh, some guys come and help along to take this um, at least up until the level of, the, of this current wall already, take it all the way back and then we would obviously have to build um, a wall from here till the end. I will show some details here. I'll take the camera inside um, until the end over because the wall stops here. So we have to do that to just support this area and then eventually we'll um, put a concrete floor in here just so that we can store our garden um, equipment in here. So you can see here the block wall stops right there at this um, last little brick pillar that they had. They just put them in, um, set them right into the block wall will probably do the same thing. So we'll have to dig out um, until that entire block is sitting free and then, or until the blocks and the bricks are sitting free and then continue all the way over. We want to probably go to the end of this wall and then continue the wall stops over here because it, um, this is the front um, entry area where, right above us and over then to the right here is the parlor. So what we will do is we'll probably just uh, dig this whole se section out underneath it and we will support the porch with some real um, new wall that we will put up. And then what we will do next is we'll dig that far enough down obviously to do the French drain um, of on this side, so three foot down and the rest of the section will probably be just two, two and a half feet down and we will probably just pour a concrete pad in here so that we have a nice um, enclosed area that is uh, waterproof and watertight so that um, it's usable for garden equipment and such. So one thing we will do is because this area is all a little wet in the back here, obviously with that's where the, the water penetration is happening, we will leave um, this fan here running the rest of this week so maybe it will help dry out the section a little and make the digging a little easier next uh, next few weeks when we do that. So we are right down here in the basement where the water is always penetrating. We are right now at, we have one block, two blocks, three blocks. We are, we dug in this corner all the way down here to three to three and a half blocks area. Most of the water, um, as you can tell, is coming in through this seam and so this grout line, right, grout line seam here. Um, so we should already have fixed most of the water issue, especially if we would put a, a French drain right at this height. But I want to be able to dig all the way down to the, to the floor and put the French drain in there because if we don't do that, then in the future as water still continues to come in at that level, um, it might come in a little lower and then we still get water issues um, further down. So we want to obviously waterproof that entire wall from up here, of course, down to uh, where we need to and start the French drain right in this corner. And then obviously we have to slope it all the way around the house. And so therefore we have to still dig. Um, if we are right here, we still have to dig these two feet plus um, a foot for the French drain to install it. So therefore we still need about three foot of digging. Well, I think this is it for this time. I'll see you guys all next time I turn on the camera. Bye.